guys, welcome back. This video we will be discussing using outer joins when there are three or more tables. We will be discussing the example using three tables, but you can basically apply it to any example as long as you understand the concepts. I really recommend that you watch the video about using inner joins when there are three or more tables because the concepts are going to be basically the same except different results will be uh, returned. So for this, the best way to think about it is, let's say we have three tables, ignore these two right now, we have a user, comment, and video table. So basically, it's a system where you can comment on videos. Each video that does get a comment will be in this table, and every user that posts a comment will also be in this table connected with that video, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a left outer join on this side and a right outer join on this side. And we will just see what those results are like. Alright, so first thing is first, let's join the user and comment table. That's the best way to think about it, is to imagine these two tables being joined here to make a new temporary join table, and then imagine this new temporary table being joined with the third table to give a final result join table. So if we do a left outer join here, every single user is going to be brought down to this table. In the situation of a left outer join, it will only take the comments that have users because there has to be an association of the user ID in both tables for that. But it's likely that every comment is going to have an associated user because that, that user ID column will likely be set to not null. That way you don't have comments that aren't posted by anybody because that would be weird. So, this will also return all comments. Great, now that we have that new table, you see we basically just took everything from up here. Let's imagine taking this and joining it with the videos. And we're going to use a right outer join. So, this is going to be right outer join. For a right outer join, we are going to take all of the videos and bring them down here. That's basically how right outer joins work. They will automatically take every single row from the right table. And then we're going to take any row in this table that has an association with the video table. So that means the comments will have to have a video, which all of them will. Alright, so what, what will be removed here? Well, some of the users will be removed. The reason that is, is because some of the users aren't going to be in the comment table. And if they're not in the comment table, they can't have an association with the video table. So think about the join statements here. We'll likely have something where it's like, uh, user ID over here is equal to the user ID over here. And then we'll have it to where it's... Then we'll have it to where it's a video ID over here, and that's equal to a video ID over here. So, when we grab all of these, we have all the users and all the comments, because all the users will have a user ID, and we don't have to have those users in the comment table because it's a left outer join, which automatically takes all of the users. All of the comments will be returned because every comment will have an associated user. But once we get over here, it gets a little different. Now it's about the video, not the user. So we're going to take all of the comments that have a video ID and all of the videos that have a video ID. Because it's a right outer join, we're going to take all the videos, whether or not they have a video ID, in the comment table. So the first thing, take all the videos. We're also going to take all of the comments, but we're only going to take some users. The reason that is, is because if a user, let's give some example data, let's say we have a user over here with the ID of 7, and he, he doesn't leave a comment, but because we do a left outer join, he comes down here anyway, so now he's in this new generated table. Well, he has a user ID, but does he have a video ID in the comment table to be associated with the video ID in the video table? No, he does not, so he wouldn't make it on past this stage, and he wouldn't be in this final outer table, or this joined table. So the final result is going to be all videos, all comments, and some users. 
that's just an example of using right and left outer joints when there's three tables. Uh, you could do the same thing with inner joints. So if you did an inner join, it's only going to take the uh, users who have comments. So, I mean, you can basically apply the same example to a lot of dis different situations to get the results you want. As long as you understand how a left join works, how a right join works, and how an inner join works, you can get essentially everything you really need to get. The only one we haven't really discussed is the full outer join, which you might need sometimes, and uh, that's a little different, so we'll be talking about that soon. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.